Can I have your attention, please? We are going to get started in about five minutes. Out of respect for our seniors, we ask that everybody please return to their vehicle. If you have a tailgate up, if you could put it down so the people behind you could see. Again, we're going to get started in about five minutes. Thank you.
Way down here. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Joe Fischel, and I am so very proud to say that I am the principal of Plumboro Senior High School. We are very happy to welcome you all to our 2020 graduation. Before we get started, I would like to introduce a few people who will be joining me on the stage tonight. Mr. Michael Devine, our school board president. Dr. Brendan Hyland, Superintendent. Ms. Denise Sedlak, Assistant Superintendent. Dr. Rick Walsh, Assistant Superintendent. Mr. Michael Gontner, Assistant Principal. Mr. Adam Zarmack, Assistant Principal. Ms. Renee McLean, Class President. Sorry. Mr. Carson Hawk, Student Council President. And now for the playing of Pomp and Circumstance. Plum High School and the Trib Live High School Sports Network would like to thank our sponsors and partners for making this video graduation celebration possible. Thank you. Frazier Police Department. The Galleria at the Pittsburgh Mill. Mr. Water Heater, keeping water hot. Penn State New Kensington, we are proud of the class of 2020. Pittsburgh Apparel, pride, glory, honor. Oakmont Bakery, we create delicious memories. Sendell Motors. Sendell is open for online sales of new and pre-owned vehicles now. Soxman Funeral Homes. Proudly serving the Plum Borough, Penn Hills, and surrounding communities for over 25 years. U.S. Film Crew. Pittsburgh's number one trusted window film company.
Good evening. Welcome to the Plum Senior High School Class of 2020 Commencement Ceremony. My name is Maria Zora and I am the student representative for the Plum School Board. I would like to begin by thanking the Plum High School Band and Mrs. Bethany Loy for their excellent playing of Pomp and Circumstance. I know these are unprecedented times, so on behalf of the Class of 2020, I would like to thank everyone who helped bring this day together for all of our seniors and families. Please join me in welcoming and acknowledging our school board, our central administration, and our Plum High School administration. Superintendent, Dr. Brendan Hyland. Assistant Superintendent, Ms. Denise Sedlak. Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Rick Walsh. Chief Financial Officer, Mr. John Zahorchek. Director of Special Education, Dr. Ashley Rainier Hershey. Director of Educational Technology and Innovation, Mr. Daniel Loletta. Transportation Director, Mr. Scott Mergen. Director of Facilities and Grounds, Mr. John Walsh. Executive Assistant to the Superintendent and Communications Specialist, Ms. Charlene Payne. Principal, Mr. Joe Fischel. Assistant Principal, Mr. Adam Zarmack. Assistant Principal, Mr. Michael Gauntner. Athletic Director, Mr. Joshua Shoup. Director of Food Services, Mrs. Jessica Griggle. And for our school board members, President, Mr. Michael Devine. Vice President, Mr. Michael Calgieri. Dr. Angela Anderson. Mr. Scott Colson. Mr. Adam Hill. Mr. Scott Kolar, Mrs. Michelle Stepnick, Mr. Joe Tomarello, Ms. Amy Wetmore, and Mrs. Jennifer Macro, the school board secretary. And for our junior high and elementary school principals, Mr. Ashley Boyers, Mrs. Maria Fight, Dr. Francis Shulo, Mr. Jason Nisley, and Mrs. Kristen Gestrich. And I would also like to thank our teachers, guidance counselors, coaches, and librarians from the high school, junior high, and elementary schools. Let us take a moment to recognize and thank the following groups who have been participants in aiding students to this moment today. Thank you to our paraprofessionals, bus drivers, food service workers, nurses, custodians, maintenance personnel, administrative assistants, and most importantly, our parents and families. A special thank you to Mrs. Klein, Mrs. Doyle, Mrs. Monick, Mr. Loletta, Mr. Fischel, the PSSO, and the Pittsburgh Tribune for all your hard work and preparation of this event today. It means so much to the graduating seniors that you have all worked so hard to make our graduation as special as possible, even during these difficult times. And now I'd just like to say thanks to all of my classmates who have made my high school experience truly special. There are definitely some memories that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And I wish all of you the most success and happiness in your futures. We did it. I would now like to ask everybody to stand for the playing of our national anthem by the Plum High School Orchestra, led by Mr. Andrew Bronchi and the alma mater sung by the Plum High School Chamber Choir, led by Mr. John DeLuce.
It is my pleasure to now introduce Mr. Michael Devine, the school board president. Thank you, Maria. Good evening. On behalf of the board of school directors, it is my distinct honor and privilege to welcome our administration, teachers, parents, guardians, grandparents, family, friends, and of course you, the class of 2020, to our first ever virtual graduation. 22 years ago, I was walking through the same halls of Plum High School. Things looked very different back then, and I never thought I would be here one day welcoming your class as a member of the Plum School Board. When you walk through this, when you walk through those doors this past August, I am sure you did not envision your last few months of high school would play out as they have. That being said, I'm extremely proud of how you have handled the changes, how you have adapted, and what you have learned. And I don't mean what you have learned through your textbooks, I mean what you have learned and can take with you as life lessons. You may not realize it today, but your ability to adapt and succeed will become a cornerstone for you to build your future. The great Bruce Lee once said, you must be shapeless, formless like water. When you pour water in a cup, it becomes the cup. When you pour water in a bottle, it becomes the bottle. When you pour water in a teapot, it becomes the teapot. Water can flow, water can crash. Become like water, my friend. Mr. Lee is telling us what you have learned these past few months. Adapting to your environment will not dictate who you are, but will allow, allow you to shape yourself and succeed. Our class of 2020 found supporters of all walks of life to help us manage this unprecedented time. Of special mention is a sophomore who walked the halls with you this past year. Ms. Tristan Auth created the Adopt a Senior Mustang Project. Her only focus was on spreading joy to many of you. Turns out her ability to connect members of our community with the class of 2020 brought joy, pride, and spirit to everyone involved. For that, we commend you, Tristan. Parents and guardians, this is a special day for you as well. As a parent of young children myself, there are days that are hard and some are harder than others, and you question, am I doing what's best for them? You push on and you raise them, and as they get older, there is less hand-holding and more reflection as they put into action everything you have taught them. There are days my wife and I joke, usually after stepping on a Lego for the 10th time, how long until they move out? For you, that day is just about here. On that day, your children go off to join the military, college, trade school, or join the workforce. Don't be sad. Be proud. You helped get them here. Be confident. You've done an excellent job to get them to this point. And as they go out into the real world, you will see everything you have instilled in them as they take on the next chapter in their lives. <clears throat> to the teachers watching today, the 295 graduating seniors are living proof of your hard work and dedication. For the extra hours you've put in to help that struggling student explain that Pythagorean theorem just one more time, or the late nights reading over their research papers, thank you. Thank you for all that you have done for each of them over the past 13 years. Class of 2020, I have nothing but confidence that each of you will go on to have an impact on this world in whatever you decide to do. As I said earlier, you have proven your resilience, and if you carry that with you throughout your life, there is nothing anyone will throw at you you cannot handle. Congratulations and good luck. It is my pleasure to introduce Mr. Joseph Fischel, principal at Plum Senior High School. Class of 2020, it has been my pleasure and honor watching you mature and grow for the past six years. I can't tell you how proud I am of you. For the past three months, we have been living in unprecedented times. Stores closed, shut off from loved ones, fears and worries around every bend. You can't even get a haircut. When we began this school year, nobody could have imagined how you would have ended this school year. No one would have imagined the circumstances, and no one could have imagined how powerfully you have overcome. Moving forward, please take a minute and think back on the 2019-2020 school year. Hungry, hungry hippos during our pep rally. Cheering on your friends during the talent show. Crowded student sections with upside down drummers. A beautiful homecoming. Fireworks at our fall bonfire. And many, many more wonderful memories. 
Your senior year will be remembered by the world as unprecedented. Webster defines unprecedented as never done or known before. I would like to challenge the class of 2020 to live an unprecedented life. Do as none has ever done. Be better than you've ever known you could be. And most importantly, love like you have never loved. As you begin the next phase of your life, never forget that you, class of 2020, are plum proud. Thank you. It is now my honor to introduce our female outstanding senior, Mackenzie Linderman. When I was told I was going to be presenting a speech at graduation, my initial thoughts were, what makes the class of 2020 so spectacular, amazing, unique? Well, the obvious answer is this. We haven't been in Plum High School for a class since March 13th. And now I'm coming to you for graduation from a computer, phone, or really any device. Besides, this is 2020, and it isn't unusual for us to be utilizing technology for countless different tasks, right? But no. When we first roamed the halls of the school four years ago in 2016, we never imagined that our commencement ceremony would look like this. Our senior year was supposed to be full of numerous lasts that we were able to cherish forever. The last game, the last school dance, the last musical, or maybe it was just the last time you would have to roll out of bed at seven and hope you made it to the doors on time so you didn't have to make the unfortunate trek up to the attendance office. All of that was taken away from us though, and instead of perceiving this as a time to jumpstart our futures and prepare ourselves for the next steps in our lives, many of us have been mulling over the losses. However, I think it is critical to recognize how much ambition the class of 2020 has shown over the past four years and carry that with us no matter where we go next. Although we have studied for multiple tests, practiced for hours to make it to the playoffs, and even established new clubs for the improvement of the world, it was not these tasks that have made the class of 2020 so special. Rather, what did make us remarkable was the manner in which we all came together over these past two months and supported each other. Whether it was texting a friend that there was in fact an assignment due in 27 minutes, or showing up to surprise and brighten the day of other students in our community, we have all done a part in enhancing the lives of others during this treacherous time. This is the very essence of greatness. It is not a string of honors or accomplishments that are exclusively recognized, and it is not an individual effort. Instead, success is attained through constant work sometimes completed only after many struggles, and success only happens with the help and thoughtfulness of others. When Charles Dickens said it was the best of times, it was the worst of times, he might as well have been describing the high school experience. When we have gone through exceptional moments, we felt like nothing could devastate our cheerfulness. And when the worst times came, and oh, they did, Shout out to my overdramatic tears that accompanied almost every single one of my shifts at Dairy Queen during sophomore year. We were there to lift each other up. In the end, it has been these times, both the good and bad, that have molded us into the people we are and made us fortunate enough to be sitting here today. Thus, we have to realize that while shortcomings will always be existent in our journeys, they never undermine the triumph of the final result. Soon enough, this challenge in our lives will be over and we will be stronger for it. The class of 2020 is going to conquer this bump in the road and reach their full potential. And even though we may not all be in plumb when these successes occur, these will always be our roots. We have all learned lessons here and whether they were pertaining to life in general or the classroom is trivial for they were all important. I am confident when I say that we will all satisfy our life's purposes, no matter how different they may all be. For the class of 2020, 
this is our year and we have the ability to make our way in whatever we put our minds to. Thank you. And remember the perseverance we have exhibited to arrive at this point. It will get you anywhere you wish to be. Next, I would like to introduce Robert Hankinson, the male outstanding senior. Hello everyone, and welcome to this segment of your virtual graduation. It's an honor to be here before you today. To start, I would like to tell a story. A few months ago, I was doing a lab in Mr. Rock's AP Chemistry class. As I was trying to get a better look at the graduated cylinder in front of me, I started to squat down a bit like there was a chair behind me, because I thought there was a chair behind me. However, it happened to not be where I thought it was. I went lower and lower until I reached that critical point. Like when you're leaning back in a chair and then realize you're about to fall head over heels. I lost my balance and straight up fell on my bum. Yes, that's right. I just failed to sit down in a chair. Rule number one of sitting down in a chair. Be aware of where the chair is. Rule number two. Basically, you just sit down. From an outsider's perspective, seeing this unfold, I leaned back a bit and then just flopped over. And I made quite a ruckus, so many of my classmates heard me. Some of my classmates from Mr. Rock's class might remember this, but honestly, I hope you don't. It was not one of my finer moments. As quickly as I could, I jumped up and tried desperately to laugh off the fact that I just fell over in the middle of class. But man, was I embarrassed. I felt like a total donkey. And you know what I mean, I'm just not going to say it. But there's a point to this chair catastrophe. Sometimes you might fail to properly sit on a chair and fall right on your butt. Other times the chair might be yanked out from under you by someone else. But that doesn't change the fact that you're on the floor and you need to get yourself back up. You can choose to lay on the floor and wonder whose fault it is, or you can get yourself back on your feet. Because at some point in life, we all lose our footing and fall down. We all make mistakes and fail. But everyone here should always strive to get up off the floor. When we fall down, we can choose between standing back up or staying down for the count. What I'm trying to say is that we have many choices in our lives. We can choose between this, that, or the other million options. However, one thing we should always remember is that our lives are up to us. They are in our hands. We are in charge of our happiness and well-being. And the choices we make will shape our lives, for better or worse. Basically, the lives we lead are affected by the choices we make. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you respond to it. Charles Swindle. We can't control the things that will happen to us, but we can control how we respond. So in the game of life, if you ever find yourself falling over because a chair got the better of you, don't worry about it and stand back up. Lastly, I would like to thank all the people that made the class of 2020 what it is today. We would not be here without you. So thank you. To the class of 2020, I've enjoyed getting to know you these past four years. <laughs> Excuse me. I've enjoyed getting to know all of you these past four years. To be honest, you're my favorite class at this school, but I'm probably biased, so you know. Congrats on graduating and good luck with all your future endeavors. And now, I would like to introduce someone who doesn't just sit on a chair. He more or less sits on a throne. It is my pleasure to introduce Carson Hawk, our student council president. Thank you, Robert, for the introduction. That was really great for my ego. Uh, between Robert and Mackenzie, I can't think of two, of two students more deserving of the honor of outstanding senior. Good evening, students, staff, parents, and families of Plum High School. As Robert said, my name is Carson Hawk, the student council president of the class of 2020. Obviously, our high school graduation is one of the most symbolically important days in our life thus far. Traditionally, it represents the passage from youth into adulthood, from dependence into autonomy, and most critically, from traditional education into the real world. Today, I want to give some context to this age-old fallacy, the implication that we, as graduates, are untested, inexperienced, and new to the reality of the world. Because in truth, we know nothing but strife. We were all born within a year of 9-11. We were raised under the looming shadow of the Iraq War. 
When we were in first grade, the country suffered one of the greatest economic setbacks it had ever seen. To this day, we would still watch the news while innocent men and women have their lives taken by gun violence simply for the color of their skin. And now, obviously, we stand here in the midst of a global pandemic that has claimed the lives of over 350,000 people worldwide. In any other time in history, one of these, any one of these events would be singularly considered as a generation-defining and world-changing obstacle. Yet affairs like these are all that the class of 2020 has ever known. Indeed, the America that we have become familiar with, the one that we are now to wade into as adults, is fundamentally different from the one in which our parents and teachers were raised. From as early as we can remember, we've been conscious of society's state of affairs. It's one of distrust. It's a world of fragility. It is for this reason, this keen awareness, that we must be careful of our own worldview. In times like these, it's easy to find oneself in a cycle of dishope and cynicism. Why wouldn't we? As I said before, we've known nothing but strife. It is our challenge, our mission as the class of 2020, to overcome not only our cycle of mental and emotional discontent, but our passive suffering of the world's ignorance. Step one in this challenge is to remain hopeful and appreciative of our youth, our health, and the world we do have. In times like these, that is the hardest part. Sometimes it feels impossible to idly sit back and pretend like we're grateful for our youth when so many pivotal moments in our young adulthood are being missed. Coming to terms with the loss of our traditional youth is hard, and none of us should pretend that it isn't. What we should do, however, is keep those who are suffering more than us in our minds and understand that things could always be worse instead of losing hope due to what could be better. This leads me to the second step. We cannot allow ourselves to settle. We cannot, normalize, we cannot allow a normalization of chaos and ignorance. We represent a generation that can identify and work towards solving the systemic problems in our society. It is for this reason I'd like to give a shout out to Jack Troy for founding the Earth Club this school year, which stands as a perfect, yes, please, round of applause, which stands as a perfect representation of our class's potential. Because when it comes to dramatic, earth-shaking events, we should never lie down and accept the hand that we are dealt. I encourage every underclassman of Plum or of underclassman or Plum High School parent with the ability to get involved to support the Earth Club however you can, because its mission of addressing the generation-defining threat of climate change wherever and whenever possible is the most noble goal I can imagine. It is efforts in organizations like this that prevent us from normalizing pain, chaos, and frankly, the world we've always known. Before I'd finished, I'd also like to thank one of the most genuine and caring high school principals to ever walk the earth, and I genuinely mean that. When Mr. Fischel came to the, beginning of, to the building at the beginning of our junior year, Plum High School fundamentally changed. He has actively taught each and, any, each and every one of us one of the most important lessons of our lives. There's no such thing, excuse me, there's no such thing as an unworthy endeavor. He and the rest of the dedicated and genuinely committed teachers at Plum have taught us that we must leave no stone unturned. We must explore our potential and the world with the same unbridled curiosity that has driven us to this point in our lives. And finally, and most importantly, I'd like to thank my parents who have provided me with almost 19 years of love, support, and tolerance, and have instilled in me the values and skills I hold dear today, and those of which I will hold for the rest of my life. To the entire class of 2020, thank you for everything. Together, we have officially overcome the struggle of high school in spite of the obstacles and challenges that the outside world has thrown at us. I think our past, present, as well as our future struggles can be best advised by a quote from Martin Luther King. Change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. And so we must straighten our backs and work for our future. Now I'd like to introduce someone I've had the honor of working with over the past year in student government and who has proven herself to be one of the most dedicated students Plum High has to offer. Renee McLean, the senior class president of 2020. Thank you very much. If you know me, this is something you, I would probably do. <laughs> it was about a year ago today that I stood in front of a football stadium of people and accepted the graduation gown on behalf of the class of 2020. As a junior, I was proud, I was nervous, and to this day, I still think I put that cap on backwards. Flash forward to the present, and it's amazing to see how things have changed around us in such a short period of time. Despite everything the coronavirus has taken from us, this pandemic is not what shaped us into the young men and women we are today. Rather, it has made us realize how strong we can be in the face of adversity. Now, let's rewind back to August 2016, 
we stepped into Plum High School for the first time, officially as freshmen. From the dazzling school dances, to the infamous midterms, to the legendary high school bathrooms, and everything in between. With four years in front of us, we had so much to look forward to. At that time, I stepped into what would be one of the most eye-opening courses of my high school career, ninth grade biology. Like so many of us, I walked into the class overly confident. I was immediately humbled when I received my first failing exam grade. Even so, I studied again for the next quiz, and I failed. <laughs> then I studied even harder, and I barely passed. <laughs> I reluctantly asked Mr. Lazaro for help. He said, Renee, you've just got to change what you're doing a little bit and keep trying. I debated if I should even bother anymore, and it was then that I decided to change my approach. On the next test, I had finally gotten a B plus. He then looked me straight in the eyes and said, it's good, but I know you can do better. From then on, I worked harder and harder and eventually ended up with an A average in his class. This gave me the confidence to push through adversity in 10th grade, and then 11th, and then 12th grade. My epiphany was in 9th grade biology. When I look back on what he said, I realized that he had inspired me by seeing potential in me that I didn't even see in myself at the time. While reminiscing over your four years, think about your own epiphany and the impact it had on you. Our senior year was full of setbacks. We tried to accomplish many projects, both large and small, and it didn't always work out. But then we had a pep rally that instilled, instilled school spirit that had been stagnant for so long. We were each other's cheerleaders coming out to support one another at every senior night. There were so many changes that improved not only our school physically, but its morale as well. We didn't realize we were making change in the moment, but our classes left a legacy that will make our community so much stronger in the long run. Not every attempt at something great will be successful because not everybody will be on the same page all of the time. Rewind again back to 2015. Many of us sat at the honors banquet held at O'Block Junior High. That night, the wise eighth grade tech ed teacher, Mr. Steele, put it best when he said, not everything we say is going to impact you. But if there is something that we say that holds meaning to you, take it with you. Ever since then, these words have continued to resonate in my mind, and I carry them with me throughout everything that I do. They continue to make me realize that different experiences affect people differently. Change doesn't happen overnight, but at the end of the day, you have to stick to your own values when faced with hardship. What happens to us does not define us. Go into the real world with the optimism to keep trying, because I promise that in life, nothing will keep you awake more at night than the questions of what if, why not, why not me? After all, we have the power to invent the future. These failures and successes within the walls of Plum High School have made us more resilient and more prepared for the larger scale impacts we are going to make on the world. Throughout life, you are going to hear a lot more no's than you hear yeses. You will encounter setbacks, you will encounter disappointment, but you will also find satisfaction, happiness, and success in your own journey. In our time here at Plum High School, we have all had our good days and our bad. Plum, as a hometown, community, and school, has instilled some of our core values that I firmly believe help define who we are now and who we will become later on. Remember, we are each other's biggest cheerleaders, and I am genuinely looking forward to seeing the long-term positive impact that we, the class of 2020, will have not only on our community, but the world as well. The best is yet to come for every one of us, and I am proud to call myself a Plum High School graduate. Thank you. Now it's time to pass the cap and gown to someone who I've had the privilege of working with and getting to know over the past year. Please welcome the senior class, pre the senior class president of 2021, Evan Smith. I'm glad to accept this cap and gown on behalf of the class of 2021. To the class of 2020, congratulations and good luck going forward. With that, we'd like to send it to our chamber choir for their rendition of the Irish Blessing.
Matthew Fossoretta, 4.0, high honors. Kelsey Karcher. Ion Powell. Mackenzie Linderman, 4.0, high honors. Adam Tomlinson, honors. Cameron Corrigan, high honors. Amber Demaria, 4.0, high honors. Christopher Ryan. David Ruffing. Nathan Dunbar. Luke Wolf Honors. Morgan Valvo, honors. Brianna Hoklemba, 4.0, high honors. Gina Rendy. Nicholas Rendy. Denny Ayers, 4.0, high honors. Aaron Joyner, high honors. Erica Hill. Rebecca Grass. Praj Perez, 4.0, high honors. Jacob Vicroy, 4.0, high honors. Bianca Morris, honors. Ian Hunter Williams. Anna Marie Scampone. Omar Mateen, high honors. Chloe Fabio, high honors.
Matthew Kalela. Lila Share honors. Julian Nodola Zuko. Kelsey Gore, honors. Abigail Muio, 4.0, high honors. Thomas Corner. Tanner Rao. Darren Polition. Olivia Grieco. Alyssa Schofield, high honors. Joshua Gray, 4.0, high honors. Maria Zura, 4.0, high honors. Brian Dougherty. Jenna Salani. Casey Fisher. Honors. Noah Lane. Honors. Aiden Doyle. 4.0, high honors. Vincent Swantek, honors. Ty Kirkpatrick. Cole Kelly, high honors. Haley Halpenstell, 4.0, high honors. Sean Gibson, honors. Jacob Trusky, 4.0, high honors. Elena Dupali.
Owen Sorelli. Honors. Hunter Oshi. Erica Healy, 4.0, high honors. Seth Thomas. Patricia Fratangelo, 4.0, high honors. Brianna Andre. Abigail Hare, 4.0, high honors. Hannah Schreiber. Michael Naperkowski. Natalie Stickle, high honors. Laurel Cowling, 4.0, high honors. Lorna Shebeck, honors. Luke Papilli, honors. Mackenzie Lake, 4.0, high honors. Andrew Wrights. Brandon Romanelli. Avery Gendron, 4.0, high honors. Charles Schultz, honors. Jason Jackson. Angelina Shipley. Elizabeth Jenkins, 4.0, high honors. Dominic DiPastina. Kara Gettings, high honors. Nicholas Stitt.
Jesse Cook, high honors. Kendra Kalseski, honors. Nicholas Del Mastro, honors. Vincent Cerniglia. Sophia Vargesco, high honors. Sarah Weathers, 4.0, high honors. Logan Voke. Anthony Simboli. Logan Foster, honors. Cheyenne Copeland, high honors. Casey Persia, 4.0, high honors. Justin North, honors. Mark Glover, 4.0, high honors. Christopher Fazzini. Sean Donnelly, 4.0, high honors. Shannon Small, 4.0, high honors. Laura Perlman, high honors. Alexandria Moreland, 4.0, high honors. Thomas Kennedy, honors. Kylie Crotz, honors. Quinlan Beatty. Maggie Grice. Emily Druga, honors. Ashlyn Miller, high honors.
Gabriel Esposto, 4.0, high honors. Nicholas Klippel. Dakota Polino. Dakota Bollinger. Damon Brocco, honors. Gianna Trombetta, honors. Tyler Gallagher, 4.0, high honors. Braden Bauer. Karen Phillips. Daniel Coca, 4.0, high honors. Vincent Coca, honors. Leanna Moore. Allison Harrison. Reagan Bartley, high honors. Morgan Kernow. Dylan Sutton. Braden Kaler, high honors. Karina Crawford, high honors. Luca Fratangelo. Jesse Shadel. Alyssa Parco. Courtney Stoner. Priscilla Jones, 4.0, high honors. Curtis Stewart Fryson. Simi Leilua Ogan Lacey.
Matthew McKinley. High honors. Jalea Shields. Devin Raniger. Sierra Belgrave. Amari Bunch. Grace Podobnik, honors. Bonnie Nichols. Caitlin Patton, 4.0, high honors. Harrison Litzinger. Isabella Russo, honors. Max Majoka. Logan Schlegel, honors. Nathaniel Deleuze, honors. Dante Keffer. Christina Hairston. Nathaniel Kozub, honors. Emily Byer, high honors. Leah Rem, high honors. Nevea East. Abigail Glasspool, honors. Catherine Schoen, honors. Michael Cooley, 4.0, high honors. Nicholas Pushik, honors. David Plasta.
Nicole Yaka. Carson Hawk, high honors. Allie Gavich, honors. Samantha Galvich, honors. Jenna Montgomery, 4.0, high honors. Grace Spar, honors. Haley Barrett, honors. Alexis Anderson, 4.0, high honors. Josephine Zumo, 4.0, high honors. Jack Troy, 4.0, high honors. Caleb Heath. Dylan Watkins. Elizabeth Goodlin, 4.0, high honors. Gianna Marasco, honors. Lucas Gilday, honors. Brandon Lane, high honors. Radio Block. Isabel Cipher, honors. Delaney Marzina. Justin Masili, honors. Jared Price. Brittany Frenetti. Noah Sofren, 4.0, high honors. Nico O'Toole.
Sadie Ivano, 4.0, high honors. Tyler Brown. Cassandra Oberdick Tellis. Ricardo Saunders, high honors. Patrick Smouse. Alyssa Slane. Luke Cicchetti, 4.0, high honors. Emily DeMarco, 4.0, high honors. Callie Minnick, 4.0, high honors. Karina Guthjar, 4.0, high honors. Michael Sakley, honors. Haley Whitcock, honors. Melanie Campbell, 4.0, high honors. Dominic Tarquinio. Dylan Tarquinio. Carly Overcash. Robert Hankinson, 4.0, high honors. Joel Tarzaho. Jacob Williams. Tyler Kolonkowski. Kelsey Baranowski, 4.0, high honors. Daniel Baranowski, 4.0, high honors. Mason Proskin, honors. Elena Baker, high honors. Micah Pierce, honors. Donovan Palmer, honors.
Devin Zerjaf, 4.0, high honors. Taylor Drozdowski, honors. Angela Vallada, high honor. Haley Myers. Nicholas Nardo, honors. Molly Giles, 4.0, high honors. William Albatui, honors. Giovanna Tavella. Tatum Marsha Janik, honors. Angelina Tavella. Lauren Pernice, honors. Olivia Pernice, honors. Cassandra Orphanopoulos. Riley Hepler, honors. Jordan Westbrook, 4.0, high honors. Melanie Schultz, 4.0, high honors. Samantha Staff, 4.0, high honors. Nicholas Sluka. Aiden Tomko. Ashley Cotter. Evan Stinson, honors. Jake Pompienko, honors. Alyssa Lamana, honors. Rocco Canals, 4.0, high honors. Cole Orovitz, high honors. Brandon Parente, honors. Colin Anderson. Daniel McCaffrey.
Anthony Little, 4.0 High Honors. Joshua George, Honors. Jacob Zapata. Connor Hutchinson. Miles Tush, honors. Bailey Hewlett, honors. Mariah Hester. Madeline Quarles, 4.0, high honors. Dominic Chapkiss. Jacob Carradine, 4.0, high honors. Akil Washington. Savannah Kay, high honors. Jack Rivnack. Renee McLean, 4.0, high honors. Melina Myers. Jared Chitrana, 4.0, high honors. Christian Jones, 4.0, high honors. Joseph Dicek, high honors. Tyler Chill, high honors. Emily Soreo. Michaela Barico, 4.0, high honors. Gavin James, honors. Hannah Odom, 4.0, high honors. Elizabeth Lobig, 4.0, high honors. Danielle Taylor, honors. Marissa Salerno. Sydney Cherry, 4.0, high honors.
Abigail Casey, 4.0 High Honors. Jared Hayner, 4.0 High Honors. Carly Cheney, 4.0 High Honors. Caitlin Fulby, High Honors. Joseph Dynoski, 4.0 High Honors. Darian Bassett. Krista Heidock, 4.0 High Honors. Delaney White, 4.0 High Honors. Kara Kiggins, High Honors. Rylan Kramer. To the class of 2020, this may not be the commencement that you would hope for. Your day may not include family and friends celebrating together. Your photos may look much different than you expected, and you may not even get to hold your well-deserved diploma in your hand. But it is important to remember that the pride everyone has in each and every one of you will remain great today and always. And the pride you have in yourselves should not waver. You have truly accomplished something great. I wish I could give you an easy answer to what lies ahead, one that ensures you come out of this and fulfill your dreams sooner rather than later. But life works in funny ways. The uneasiness you feel right now is normal. How you bottle these feelings up and use them to your benefit will determine how you come through this uncertain time. Perhaps life is secretly teaching you one more lesson. And what you learn from this lesson is up to you. You are the only one that control your response. You can choose to start each day with the right attitude. You can choose to remain positive and open to new norms. You can choose to dedicate this time to being the best you you can be. I am a firm believer that something good will prevail when these times end. I hope that for you, this time has helped to bring you closer to your loved ones. I hope it has brought clarity and allowed you to prioritize your life. I hope it will allow people to be more tolerant of one another. The uncertain times make focusing on your future difficult, but look at the perspective it has put on what matters now. Maybe things in the past aren't as burdensome as once seen. Maybe in the big picture, we're all slowing down to embrace the bright, beautiful future that lies ahead. Today, be mindful of the good and celebrate the positives. I wish you success. I wish you health, and most importantly, I wish you happiness. Congratulations to all of the high school and college graduating classes of 2020. Good evening to all the families, friends, community members, and especially the 295 soon-to-be alumni of the Plum Borough School District. Tonight, as your superintendent, I have the high honor and distinct privilege to proudly make the official declaration that these wonderful men and women will become high school graduates, and I am thrilled to do so. First, there was a lot of work that went on behind the scenes to make this evening as special as it could be for you. If you would, please give a nice round of applause 
by honking your horns and flashing your lights for the high school team led by Mr. Fischel for putting together this wonderful celebration in your honor. They really love you, Mr. Fischel. Also, we'd like to thank the Fraser Police Department for coming out here, volunteering their time so that our kids could have this, the most special graduation that they possibly could. I'd like to thank Pittsburgh Mills. They have donated this space free of charge. So if you get an opportunity, please frequent their stores and just say thank you for giving this space to, to our graduates. And also, I'd like to thank Mr. Jeff Waller from PC Group Productions, who, put, who gave us this jumbotron and put together this wonderful stage and did a fabulous job. Can you thank all of those folks one more time? <laughs> to the class of 2020, before I make the official declaration that you are a graduate, there are a few words that I feel I must share with you about your class. There is no doubt that the class of 2020 is one of a kind. No other class has had to endure the challenges that this group has faced. A pandemic, think about that, a pandemic. A loss of your musical and your concerts and spring sports, the award ceremonies, the proms, the parties, and all the other special milestone events that every student should experience. On behalf of the district and as a parent, I am deeply sorry the events of recent months have taken place and have taken away some of those precious memories that you rightly deserve in your life. We can't change that. All we can do is what we can do to make the best of a very challenging situation. And it is our hope that the classes that follow you will display the same class and dignity that the class of 2020 has displayed as they depart Plum. In an effort to always remember this class for being champions, for those aforementioned qualities, the banner with the class of 2020 will be taken from this stage and immediately taken to the gym in the high school. For now and forever, it will hang with all the other champions from Plum. It will serve as a special reminder for all the future students what a Plum Mustang can do to overcome adversity and finish like a champion. I also want to genuinely thank the class of 2020 with the steadfast determination, graciousness, and an overwhelming sense of maturity that is well beyond your chronicle age and years, you are weathering this storm. And like most storms, this storm will pass. As a famous Japanese author once said, and once the storm is over, you won't remember you made it through how you manage to survive. You won't even be sure whether the storm is really over. But one thing is certain. When you come out of the storm, you won't be the same person who walked in. That's what this storm is all about. Class of 2020, there are some amongst you that are volunteering to enter into another storm that may be even more dangerous, and they are doing it for you. You have class members who have nobly chosen to join our nation's armed forces. I would ask that you show your gratitude for those from your class when I have called all their names. It is my honor to personally and individually recognize those special individuals from the class of 2020 who have volunteered to serve our nation. I ask that when I call your name, 
You please get out of your car, which I think you've managed quite well tonight. Stand by the front of your car so that your fellow citizens can acknowledge and show our gratitude for your willingness to protect and defend our freedom and our way of life as you enter into storms where others fear to go. Joining the United States Marine Corps, Evan Stinson. Joining the United States Army and Army Reserves, Connor Hutchinson. Dylan Wynn. Joining the United States Air Force, Ross Batar. Casey Fisher. Patrick Smouse. Dylan Sutton, Sierra Belgrave. Joining the United States Air Force ROTC, Tyler Chill. If you could, one more time, all together, please honk your horns and flash your lights to show your gratitude for these brave young men and women. I also have some other individuals that I'd like to recognize. These students were missed on the video and we want to apologize and make sure we individually recognize them. When I call your name, would you please also go to the front of your car? Ross Batar, Jaden Cooper, Jamie Hamm, Elvin James, Phoenix Olsowski, Aiden Wetmore, and Nick Flinko. And graduates, I have one more request. If you would, please get out of your cars and stand in the front of your car and listen to these words very, very carefully. Please move your tassel from the left to the right side of your cap, symbolizing that you have moved from candidate to graduate. And based on the recommendation of Mr. Fischel and his administrative team, that all 295 candidates have met all the necessary graduation requirements. And with the power invested in me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, the Pennsylvania Department of Education, and the Pennsylvania School Code of 1949, it is with a tremendous amount of pride that I hereby officially pronounce all of you graduates of Plumborough High School. Congratulations. that you please, when you leave, make sure you pick up any trash and leave the place nice and clean. Thank you, everybody.
the good love when we're all alone keep it up girl yeah you turn me on 